from Indy Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. An iconic Henry County restaurant is back open months after being destroyed by a fire. The owners of Frosty Boy tell WRTV the restaurant has been in the family for more than five decades. In January, they say a gas valve on the grill malfunctioned and that caused the business to go up in flames. After the fire, the owners vowed to rebuild and last Saturday they reopened their doors with overwhelming support. We had to shut down the dining room almost every single day because we couldn't keep up with the dining room, the walk-up window, and drive through. I've had to put the phone on the back burner, <laughs> really, because um, we couldn't keep up with it. Dagley, who you just heard from there, says she was there when the fire started. And you can see here in this video as she's running towards her livelihood. She says she thought her husband was still inside, but thankfully he was not. And Sergeant John Davis stopped her from going inside. The City County Council is cracking down on unsafe driving on Indy's east side. Councilors have officially lowered speed limits throughout most of the area. The areas in red now have speed limits of 25 miles per hour. It stretches from I-65 and I-70 over to Emerson Avenue and from Brookside Park down to Michigan and New York streets. Drivers have recently crashed into several buildings on the near east side, including a Dunkin Donuts, the Can Can Cinema and the East 10th Street Methodist Church and School. The counselor behind the proposal believes the slower speed should be the first step towards safer east side streets. I know slower speed limits feel frustrating. People want to get to where they need to go, but nobody wants to be hitting a child on a bicycle, which is what happened earlier this week and sending them to the hospital. So asking people to think about it, try to slow down. Meanwhile, I'm pushing DPW and the city to continue their historic investments in traffic signals in new sidewalks in protected bike lanes. Councilor Jesse Brown hopes to eventually expand the lowered speed limits across the Near East Side. For more stories and weather you need to know, download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.